Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Hotline Topics. Excited you're back to Stone Abraham shows of her first child. So Abraham officially launched her daughter's modeling career last year when she was celebrating her birthday in September. And we must say Timitawa is growing rapidly within this one year. And of course, our ever-ready and happy mother, Tony Abraham, is always ready to show her growth to the world. For those who may ask, when did Tony Abraham have this grown daughter, a teenager? Well, Timitawa Jm is Tony Abraham's stepdaughter, but then Tony Abraham has fully accepted Timitawa as her own very daughter. Timitawa Jm is the teenage daughter of Kolawalia Jm, who is the husband of Tony Abraham. As it has been reported, Kola Olia Jemi was a single father before he finally tied the nut with the star you back to Stoin Abraham. And the very first child, Toin Abraham and Kola Olia Jemi will have together is Irulua Jemi, but then Toin Abraham refers to Timmy Tokwe as her first child and her daughter. Toin, who is currently traveling across states in Nigeria, a movie The Ghost and the Tell 2, and happily meeting her fans across the country as they're showing her updates on social media platform. And currently, she's in Akure. Akura is the largest city and the capital of Ondo State. And as she's giving updates on her work, she's also giving updates on her personal life, which includes this update on her daughter and first child, Dimitopa Jamie, as she shows her daughter's new look. And proudly, he said, see my daughter, Dimitopa Jamie. And of course, Dimitopa also shared this on her own official social media platform with all the lovely photos of herself. And Tony says, can your daughter Eva? Timmy Tokwa GME is fondly called Black Beauty by Timmy fans and also Tony Abrams fans. As mentioned earlier, she is a professional mother and she is also an actress who ventured into acting fully this year. Everyone in this family seems to be growing beautifully. If you want to know more about Tony Abrams and her family, please stay with us for short and interesting biography of Tony Abrams and her husband, Kola Wale GME. Kolawole Ajiemi, whose surname is Kolawole Uluwa Shegun Ajiemi, is the husband of Tony Abraham. He's a popular movie director, producer, and an actor in the Yuba movie industry. He's currently in his 40s, 42 years old precisely, which his wife reviewed this year. He was born on January 15th, and he was born and raised in the Ubumo Shore part of Oyo State, where he had both his primary and secondary school education. It has also been reported that his father is the popular Yuba musician Aji Yemi. Kola Oli started acting in the 90s under the tutelage of the veteran Yuba actors Isiaka Udutola Miodbo and Shegun Akwani Ogunbe. Ever since then, he has gone ahead to fully establish himself as an actor. He has featured in over 50 movies, worked as a director for many, and a producer also. Some of the movies he has worked on over the years include Ige Osha Buga. Shota Lakpata Ijo Boy will see Ibikika Sunday that the Rujo Kenjo Ekonsumi Sumibayo Ifeni Okola Pasta Iruko Irukunla Kokoro Umwaya Son Otamoko La Ija Yima Jela Beru Pemisi Rujo Narole Ekomero Uriluwo Onome Agaga and Omar Yeniwa just to mention a few of them. Over the years, this actor has backed the nickname Awilu because of the rugged rules he plays in movies and he has since said that he's a different person off screen. And does not in any way behave like the characters he plays in movies. This too, Colin and Tony got married in July 2019, and only a month after that, they welcomed their son, Iwilua GM. Apart from his acting career, Colin Wally is also a businessman. He's the CEO of Colin Wally Clothings, a fashion company specialized in making native wears and shoes. He's also the founder of a film school called Ajio Maji School of Performing Arts, which is located in Abdelkota part of Ogun State. Yogun State Capital. So in Hebram, on the other hand, is a star Yoruba Nigerian actress, filmmaker, producer, and an entrepreneur who began her acting career in the year 2003 when she said in the movie Dube Dubembo, which was produced by Booker Wright. And since then, she has continued to feature in the best of Hollywood movies and to also ventured into movie production. Generally, she is known for her comic roles and films, especially with her self produced Bible Storm of Yalaka that Loaded. She was formerly known as Olu Tui Aimaku. She was born on September 15, now she part of Edo State. She began her education in Edo State and attended over Kenzo Nigerian Primary School in Bino. Later on, her father retired and the entire family moved to Ibadan in Oyo State, where she spent most of her early life. In Ibadan, she started from Queen's Dive School, then St. Anne's School, also in Ibadan. Director, she presided to Europe Polytechnic in Oshun State with a national diploma in business studies. She also attended Olabi Senobanji University 
about the degree in philosophy before returning to Iwe Polytechnic for an HND marketing. So, is the last of six children. She was born into a poor background where she had to hug to support her family. She changed the name from Oluto and Emaku to Tony Hebron in the year 2016. And according to her, the change was a family's decision. So, it's also based on how we branded. And she added her husband's last name, uh, GME, to her name at the beginning of this year, making her to Hebron at GM. Even though she began acting in the year 2003, she didn't take it up professionally until between 2004 and 2005. Her motivation came from her boss, Bicky Wright, an age she a German actress. As mentioned earlier, she first featured the bookies movie with Bedou Gamba, and subsequently she began to star in other films until she rose to start it. And as she grew in the movie industry, she started producing her own movies. The very first movie she produced is Aladdin Hotel, and she also had plans to produce Aladdin Hotel Reloaded. Today, Dwayne is one of the biggest brands we have in the German movie industry. And according to her, staying in Okafor's law and working with the movie director Amon Bully was highly instrumental to her brand. She is not relenting. She has been consistent in making a name for herself. Over the years, she has switched all the movies like Iggy, The Prophetess, The Therapist, The Ghost and the Tao to Fate of Alakata, Dear Afi, Small Chops, Elevator Baby, Don't Get Mad, Get Even, Made in Heaven, The Millions, Casanova, Bling Legosians, Nimbi, The Ghost and the Tao Seven and a half dates, these guys. What just happened? The lock that we loaded. Esui, Hakunde, Mentally, Tattoo, London Fever, Rise and Stride Revolution, Celebrity Marriage, Okafor's Law. What makes you think? Love's in the hair. Lani Baba Labake, Bimi, Nyalaka, that shadow for me. And Shadow Parties, just to mention a few of them. She is a multiple award winning actress with several nominations. Some of her nominations include Best Actress of Role in a Bimi in Yuba category, Best of Nollywood Award 2013. Best Actress in the Supporting Role for Ruling in Sui, Africa Movie Academy Award, TMA 2018. And Best Actress in the Supporting Role for Ruling Diamond in the Sky, English Category, Best on Hollywood Awards 2019, just to mention a few of them. Some of the awards in her possession also include Best Actress for Ruling in Alakada, Ben TV Awards 2014. The Best Indigenous Actress, Nigerian Telemetry Awards 2014. The Best Supporting Actress, Future Film for Ruling in Alakada, Five Continent International Film Festival 2019. Best Actress in Hollywood, Mokli Oyuta Awards, Maya 2019. The Best Male Act, Nigerian Entertainment Awards, NA 2019. Best Actress for Ruling in Alakada Reloaded, Exquisite Lady of the Year, LA 2019. Best Supporting Actress for Ruling in Tattoo, Africa Magivia's Choice Awards, NVC 2018. Best Actress in Africa, Africa Magivia's Choice Awards, NVC 2020. The Best Actress of the Year, Africa Choice Awards, just to mention a few of them. Yeah, so this is a little bit about this family, between Hebram, Kola Olia, Jeremy, and their kids. And we've come to the end of this episode, where this is your actress to Hebram, excited to show off our first child's new look, our daughter. If you enjoyed this episode and let us know two new things, subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.